God, thank God for being here on today, and we just thank God for this prayer a thon and praying for our community and this network and this nation, and how much prayer is the root of everything, and we need much prayer. And I thank God for this network and what Miss Franklin is doing in this community, having another outlet to, by way to get the gospel of the message of Jesus Christ out. But but listen, but listen, people of God, we need much prayer, and 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 and, and, and it grieves my heart to see the disunity in our communities and among our people. And so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna just jump right just jump right in into this prayer and, I'm, and and then we may say some say say a few things after the fact. Let's let's go with me right now. Father God in the name of Jesus. Dear God we thank you O Lord God for this day. Dear God we thank you for all the things that you are doing. Oh God, we thank you for this opportunity, oh Lord God, to come before your people in prayer, oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, we lift up the city of Memphis, oh Lord God, our community, oh Lord God. I was just reading on this morning, oh dear God, that it said Tennessee is the, is the most dangerous state in the nation, oh dear God. We come against all the forces of darkness, oh Lord God, that seek to devour and destroy our community, oh Lord God. Oh God, we pray right now, Lord God, that there be more unity, oh Lord God. Christ focus unity in this community, oh Lord God. I pray for the leaders of this community, oh Lord God, all the pastors, oh Lord God, and leaders, oh Lord God, that we will come together, oh dear God, to do the work of the ministry, oh dear God, that they will unify, oh Lord God, lay aside all of our differences, oh dear God, that we may be unified, oh Lord God, and that we understand, oh Lord God, that we work better together in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. We come against, oh Lord God, the spirit of division right now in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, and we seek to unify right now, oh Lord God. Oh God, we come against, oh Lord God, the impoverished spirit, oh Lord God, in this community, oh Lord God, bring down the poverty the spirit, oh Lord God. Uh, I pray that's what, Lord God, to send in on um, resources, oh Lord God. Send in forces the education, oh Lord God, for the people in this community, oh Lord God, so that we can learn how, oh Lord God, to be good stewards, oh Lord, oh Lord God, the things you blessed us with in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. And I pray, oh Lord God, for our young people in the schools, oh Lord God. We pray for their protection, oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, we pray, oh Lord God, that you continue to protect our children, oh Lord God, while they're in school, oh Lord God. Bless their minds, oh Lord God, whether they're in the system, oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, that they have teachable spirits, oh Lord God, obedient spirits, oh God, while they're in the school system, oh Lord God. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh dear God, there, in, there may be enemies in the school, oh Lord God, that seek to harm our children, oh Lord God. I pray right now, Lord God, that you will expose every one of them, oh Lord God, and remove them from around our children in the name of Jesus, oh dear God. Oh God, we pray and lift up our educators right now, oh Lord God, those that are teaching our children, oh Lord God, and the administrators, oh Lord God, and the staff, oh Lord God, gird them up, oh Lord God, give them the, the, the wisdom, oh Lord God, and the ability, oh Lord God, and the knowledge Oh Lord God, to continue to teach our children, oh Lord God. There may be some, oh Lord God, that have given up, oh Lord God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, that you will strengthen them, oh Lord God. Give them the mind and the power and the ability, oh Lord God, to continue to go on and go forward in the name of Jesus, oh dear God. Oh God, I lift up, oh Lord God, our city leaders, oh Lord God, in the government, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Bless their minds, oh Lord God, as they make decisions, oh Lord God, concerning your people, oh Lord. I pray right right now in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, that the decisions they make, oh Lord God, that they will have the the, the, the best interest of the people in their mind, oh Lord God, not self-interest, oh Lord God. We bind that right now in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Where, they may, where corruption may lie, oh Lord God, I pray right now, Lord God, that you expose it and remove it in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Oh God, we lift, we lift up the TFC Media Network, oh Lord God. Oh God, we thank you, oh Lord God, for this outlet, oh Lord God. Oh God, we thank you for, for, for this vehicle, oh Lord God, for this tool that you are using, oh Lord God, in this hour, oh Lord God, to get the message of the gospel out, oh Lord God. Oh God, we pray right now, oh Lord God, for the network, oh Lord God, and the leaders of this network, oh Lord God. Oh God, we pray right now, Lord God, that you will send every resource, oh Lord God, that they need, oh Lord God, to stay on the air. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, bless every hand, oh Lord God, that's a part of this vision, oh Lord God, that's a part of this work, oh Lord God, that's a part of this network, oh Lord God. I, I speak prosperity for this network in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Enlarge the territories of this network, oh Lord God. Enlarge it in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Give them more access, oh Lord God, in this city, oh Lord God, and even in the nation. In the name of Jesus, I decree it and I declare it to be so right now in the name of of Jesus, oh dear God. Oh God, we lift up our nation even right now, oh Lord God. The government may be shut 
down, oh Lord God, but heaven is still open, oh Lord God. Oh God, we thank you right now, Lord God, for what you're doing, oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, we know people are looking to the government, oh Lord God. Oh God, but our source and our resource lies within you, oh dear God. Oh God, we look to you even right now, oh Lord God. Those, oh Lord God, that are suffering, oh Lord God, because of this closure, oh Lord God, that may be laid off from their job, oh Lord God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, that you will undergird them, oh Lord God. Don't let them miss a beat, oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, send resources, oh Lord God, from the north, the south, the east, and the west, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Oh God, my heart goes out, oh Lord God, to the lost, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. There are some, oh Lord God, that do not know you, oh Lord God. There are some that have, that have no relationship and no fellowship with you, oh Lord God. Oh God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Put the right people in their life, oh Lord God. Put the right persons there, oh Lord God, to speak a word to them, oh Lord God, to encourage them, oh Lord God, to, to bring them this way, oh Lord God, in the, that may, they may find salvation, deliverance, and healing in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we give you glory right now. Oh God, we thank you for this opportunity to pray, oh Lord God, to, to uh, an uh, opportunity, oh Lord God, to bring us into unity, oh Lord God. Oh God, we thank you, oh Lord God, for the Bible says that one can chase a thousand, but two can chase ten thousand. Oh Lord God, but there are a multitude of people praying this morning, oh Lord God. We're chasing away the enemy in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, oh Lord, for the revival that's about to take place, oh Lord God, in our community and in this nation. God, we give you glory, hallelujah, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Oh God, we thank you. And we, 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 we thank God for that prayer. And listen, I want you to know that every word that we pray, God hears. And no word goes to the ground. When we make declaration in the name of Jesus, we expect it to come to pass. And as, and, and as others come in to pray, we're going to expect God to move. And we're looking for God to move in our community because we need it. Our community needs to come together. We are losing, we are losing another a, a generation of young people. But I believe in my heart I believe that we can turn this this next generation around because they are the ones that are going to take care of, take care of us on the other side. So we're, I'm just looking for God to come in and move and to raise up these young people because we need we we need more leaders in the in the churches. We need leaders in the city. We need leaders in businesses. We need more entrepreneurs. And I pray that our young people will go and get educated. I look for more business owners, more entrepreneurs. If you are a young person watching this and you have no no idea what you, no idea what you want to do when you grow up. No idea what you want to go to school to do. I I I challenge you right now. I challenge you to get on your knees and talk to God and ask Him, Lord, give me a creative idea. Deal, something that I can use that, that, that can help others that can benefit me financially that God and God will give you a business idea because our God is a creator he's not he's not void of ideas we can go to him and God will give us an idea that no one has ever had look at this network TFC media God produced this God God had God had got in the heart uh, Miss Franklin, and he produced this this station and we thank God for what he's doing we thank God for this opportunity and listen support the churches in our communities support them listen let's support them and, let, and let's seek to be unified let's stop bashing one another let's stop let's stop talking against one another let's set aside our differences and let's come together to be unified it doesn't matter what faith what denomination you are those things don't matter what matters is that we serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And what matters is that we have a community that needs us. What matters is that we have young people that need guidance and need direction. As long as we're fighting one another, we're missing the mark. We're missing opportunity to minister. We're missing opportunity to rally together as long as we're in disunity. So let's get unified. Let's come together. Let's join forces so that we can complete and fulfill the work of the ministry that Christ has called us to. And I know that some, some of you will maybe hurting during this time. That the, that the nation, that the government is shut down. And so because the government is shut down, some people are, are not working right now. I understand this, so we're praying for you. We, we, we have you in our prayers. We, and, just, and just look to the Lord. God is supply of all our need. The Bible says so. He'll supply all our need according to his riches and glory. 
The Bible said the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, them and they that dwell therein. He owned the cattle on a thousand hills. And God, God owns everything. Heaven is his throne, earth is his footstool. So God owns everything. And he said he'll supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. That God will do just that. He will supply our need. But we just have to believe him. If we seek him first and his kingdom. All these other things will be added to us. So I encourage you, don't get discouraged. Don't lose faith. Don't lose heart. Be encouraged. God bless you. And I love you. Thank you.